everyone. Thanks for joining us on this short tutorial on how to add and manage our inspection types in the Inspection Support Network. First, let's get logged in. Enter your username, which is usually your first initial and last name, all lowercase. Then enter your password. Once you've entered your password, click the green Login button. The Inspection Support Network will load and we're going to navigate to Settings in the upper blue bar and Office Settings. That's Settings and Office Settings. When this section has opened, in the upper right-hand quadrant, we're going to be working in Inspection and Fee Settings. When you first open the Inspection Type section, you'll notice there are several inspection types already listed for you. We've done this as a convenience, however, some of the inspection types may not be applicable to your particular business. For example, if you don't do radon testing as a standalone service, you're going to click on the red trash can to the left of the radon testing inspection type to delete that particular inspection type. Or if you don't perform infrared thermography as a standalone service, you're going to click the red trash can to delete that particular inspection type. To add an inspection type, you're going to click on the green Add Inspection Type button and then type in the service that you're looking to do. In general, inspection types are going to fit one of three criteria to be in this section. The first reason would be your main reason for being at the job. For example, standard residential inspection, or maybe you do mold testing as a standalone service. If you do that, let's add an inspection type by clicking the green Add Inspection Type button and type in Mold Inspection. And we're going to copy and paste. We don't have to necessarily fill out the last box, the public description. It's typically used for third-party services such as perceptionists. It's generally not used otherwise. So once you've completed in both boxes or all three if you prefer, click your blue Add button to add your new inspection type. If this is a service that you perform a lot of, you're going to want to click on the three horizontal lines on the left and hold down your mouse button and drag that inspection type towards the top of the list. Now mold inspection is second. This will help your schedulers if this is something that you do a lot of because it'll be second in their drop down menu of the services they're going to schedule for you. The second reason we would do an inspection type is if we're trying to trigger a particular agreement. Our inspection types are going to trigger our agreements. So if you have a separate agreement for radon testing and an agreement for standard residential inspection, you're going to want to have an inspection type that lists both. That way it knows to trigger both agreements. But if you're just going to do a standard residential inspection, it's only going to trigger the one agreement. Another example would be if you have an agreement for termite and if you have an agreement for mold inspections, you're going to want to have an inspection type with all three so you can trigger all three agreements. The third reason you would want something in this particular section is if you're trying to trigger a particular email. For example, if you have an inspection type new home construction, you can have the inspection support network automatically generate an email to your clients 10 months later that tells them it's time for their warranty inspection. Once you're done entering and completing your inspection type list, you'll want to take a look and see if you need to do anything with duration. Usually you're not going to enter anything here because our duration is typically going to be calculated by the square footage of the property or possibly how old it is or what type of foundation type it is. But if you're doing an inspection type with termite and you know that that's automatically going to add 30 minutes to your inspection duration, 
go ahead and click on the pencil next to the number of minutes and then enter the amount of minutes it would take for that additional service. Hit your green check mark and now it's added. This will be added to the duration that's listed under fees per square footage and the other sections of your fees. On the right hand side, you'll see we have a column for fees. Most of the time our fees are going to be listed under fees per square footage as well. So we're usually going to leave this blank. However, if we have a service that we know it's always the same exact fee, regardless of the size of the property, maybe you live in an area where all of your condos are about the same size and you have a flat fee, for a condo inspection of $350, you can put that here. You're going to click on the pencil, enter your fee, and hit your green check mark with your cursor. But most of the time, you're going to leave the fee section blank. After you have finished working on your inspection types, we will continue our setup with completing your fees. Join us on our next video, Adding and Managing Fees, to continue with your ISN setup. Thanks for joining us.